Alrighty, let's talk Frontier Canada and its current state and its future growth because some really exciting news um, involving Frontier Canada. The park has confirmed in an interview with TPM videos that Frontier Canada is not done. And in fact, the evidence is still there. I was starting to lose hope as soon as Kingswood construction markings and survey markings started popping up. Um, but after receiving some information from some of my engineering friends out in Florida, um, survey markings for such a large project typically would appear about three, four, or five years ahead of a project. In fact, even further confirmation came out saying these survey markings occurring in Flight Deck um, Kingswood cannot be for a 2025 coaster at all because surveying is the process in creating essentially a 3D map that is going to map the area for the developers of whatever projects Wonderlands is, is choosing for 2025, 2026, 2027. Um, for that area to build those. So essentially what that would be confirming is nothing is designed yet. So it is impossible for a project that's gonna start construction this December that surveying is just occurring now. So essentially we're gonna hold on to what we originally thought that uh, the next 2025 coaster is going to stay in Frontier Canada in the Whitewater Canyon area. In fact, this is probably going to be a huge area for Wonderland in 2024 and 2025 and maybe 2026, depending on the time frame of them ending Frontier Canada's expansion. But I have a feeling the coaster in 2025 will be the final uh, ka-chow to Frontier Canada. But nonetheless, let's talk. So Tundra Twister is a new flat ride that has opened at Canada's Wonderland this year. It opened um, essentially as the next attraction after Yukon Striker. Um, and I'm just double checking that I'm getting that right. Yes, excluding um, the giant restaurant, Lazy Bear Lodge. It was the next attraction to open and it introduces essentially a storyline outside of Yukon Striker. So for those of you that pay attention closely and for those of you that don't, Yukon Striker um, is a mining company um, and it involves a, a legendary bird that watches over or attacks the mining company. Not quite entirely sure of the entire storyline, but you are the bird on Yukon Striker in a mining company. Tundra Twister is slightly different. Tundra Twister is a mining device that Miracle Mining Co. is using to um, basically dig for gold in the Klondike River. Um, so that is my understanding of the storyline. So just bear with me here. I'm going to explain everything I know, and then we're going to touch on what that could mean for the future of Frontier Canada. So for those that pay attention, the device on the actual ride is a device on the sign, the actual logo of the ride. It's a mining device. There's two drill bits on either end. And essentially Miracle Mining Co. Um, and Yukon Mining Co. had a sale of land and it's ripped in half as if there was a dispute. Um, so essentially, uh, my guess is that Miracle Mining Co. is going to discover something, just like Yukon Mining Co. had discovered something. Uh, you can see some of these stories translate over at Copperhead Strike in um, the Carowinds, sorry, Carowinds, the park. And um, I have a feeling that Wonderland is developing its own storyline, finally. So Yukon Striker was the introduction of a possible story. It was a little sloppily done, um, but I love that Tundra Twister very um, well introduces a good storyline that goes all the way down to the dip and dot stand okay so the t the name tyson um is translated into the dip and dots actual product which is really awesome love that attention to detail and they paid a lot of attention to the storyline on those papers so you'll see in a second but essentially they talk about um, Dawson City. So that's going to be a big theme for 2024 and 2025. Um, so pay attention to that. Dawson City is the location along the Yukon Striker and Klondike River. Um, and what's even more interesting is there's a blueprints that they have there of a mine cart elevator. So um, that pays a lot of significance if we are, again, if we 
are, take that with a grain of salt, to view these as somewhat teasers. But if you were to look at the other sister parks, their theming does sometimes translate, oftentimes translate into some sort of storyline or teaser for future or next year editions. So it this was to be a teaser or hint in any format, which I'm gonna say take this with a huge grain of salt, um, period. I would assume that we are heading down the right path in our predictions for what the coaster could be and what dark ride or flat ride could be coming in 2024. I'm not gonna talk about the actual predictions in this video, but I want you to pay attention um, to some, the, the area that we're about to head into. So 2024, um, for my Patreons, you already know what I've predicted or am telling you what one of the additions is gonna be for 2024. You also know as my subscribers that I've been predicting that Whitewater Canyon and Action Theater is a part of Frontier Canada's development and I'm gonna hold steady on my action theater prediction that I do still think a dark ride is in Wonderland's future in that theater. When? Don't know. Been very confusing. I was told it was supposed to happen sooner or later back in 2019 and it has still not happened, but I'm still gonna hold tight on that. But I would not rule out a Whitewater Canyon enhancement or refurbishment or complete redesign um, with these new teasers. So. What could possibly be in the works? I don't know. Look to something like Infinity Falls at SeaWorld. Would Wonderland go full out on that? Or would they just simply pull a Knott's Berry Farm and add some Dawson City theming around the ride for a storyline slash upgrade to the ride and then give it the Timberwolf Falls treatment where they completely redo the concrete and cement? That's two things that could possibly be in the works for 2024. Um, 2025, I think that we're going to hold tight and look at a launch coaster of some sort. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to hold steady that it is definitely not going to be a wing coaster in that back part of the, the park. And I'm not ready to discuss why I know that it's not going to be a wing coaster in the back part of the park, but my Patreons have a little kind of like blueprint from the city of Vaughn that I was able to find about that part of the park and why a wing coaster can't go back there. So if you're a Patreon, go back a month um, and it is there. But I wouldn't rule out a Whitewater Canyon upgrade or a launch coaster of some sort in the next two years or both with a dark ride to finish off Frontier Canada. That back part of the park needs to be developed. It is a very underused part of the park and we all know Medfair is over, overcrowded. With that being said, um, I think it's really exciting and I think it's pretty evident the direction that Wonderland is taking Frontier Canada and it's pretty evident that Dawson City is going to play a big role in theming for the future of Frontier Canada. So we already touched it a bit with Tundra Twister, um, so I could only imagine the direction we're going to head with our new rides in 2024 and 2025. With that also being said, um, for those of you that have not clued in, that Splashworks is also being absorbed by Frontier Canada. It is making its way in. Um, and this was told to us by the park and probably anyone else that interviewed the park back in 2019 that Splashworks was transitioning into a Canadian theme. We see that with the new pump house that was just reconstructed after its unfortunate event under Mindbuster. It has received some Canadian theming um, as long along with the chicken tender place. I forget what it's called. Um, right as you enter Splashworks, it has received a Frontier Canada um, refurbishment up front and the Pizza Pizza. There are also signs that uh, the new water slide and some of the new buildings will also get that kind of re-theme as well in 2024. I'm not ready to talk full in depth about what I expect for Splashworks in 2024, but definitely expect it. Um, I think that's all I have to talk about or reveal right now outside of Patreon. But definitely wanted to talk to you guys about the whole Dawson City, um, Klondike River, and Yukon Striker and Miracle Mining Company storyline that is developing with Tundra Twister and how it's going to segue in to our 2024 and 2025 editions. Anyways, hopefully you guys really enjoyed this video. I wanted to pack so much information on what I knew with those new um, kind of like teasers 
very little teasers if they are that and mostly storyline that was attached to tundra twister into this video thanks so much for watching and hopefully you're having an amazing tuesday have a good one guys bye